What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Swift video. Today we're going to be taking a look at async images in Swift UI 3. Brand new announcement in WWDC 2021. So here you just saw there was a placeholder image. It loaded in this image from uh, a website URL, which is actually a screenshot of this YouTube channel. So uh, this is finally, uh, you know, first party available in SwiftUI. Should have been here from day one, but I'm not going to sound like I'm too salty. So that all said, if you're into this, hit the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to the channel for more iOS Swift, iOS 15 videos. That all said, let's get into the video. All right, let's go ahead and get started by opening up Xcode and creating a new project. Bear in mind, this is Xcode 13 beta one. We're gonna stick with the app template under iOS and let's go ahead and give this project a name of async images. You wanna make sure your language is set to Swift and your interface is Swift UI. Go ahead and continue, save the project wherever you'd like. I'll toss it onto my desktop and uh, as soon as Xcode decides to stop being slow, we'll go ahead and collapse this right panel. Before I uh, hit resume in the preview, we'll change the preview device to a 12 Pro Max. Go ahead and hit resume. And we also need to change one more thing before we start talking about the new native async images, and that is going to your general project settings and changing your minimum iOS deployment target to 15.0, which supports new SwiftUI async images. So once you've done that, you can come back here into your content view and we can get straight into the code. So those of you using SwiftUI prior to uh, four days ago, uh, you know the pain points that if you ever wanted to show an image from a remote source, aka the internet, a URL, you'd have to build your own object, kind of a pain, no way to standardize it, you'd have to build in caching yourself and all that good stuff. The nice thing about SwiftUI 3 with iOS 15 is Apple finally decided to do their job and bring in async images. And how do you create it? Well, you just create it as an async image. You can create it with a URL, content, placeholder, lots of things. The first thing we'll look at is just a URL, which is pretty bare bones and simple. I copied a image URL from my personal website just to demo today. So let's go ahead and hit resume and see what that looks like. And then we'll start to look at some of the other uh, initializers that you saw there. So. Bear with this. Well, first of all, you notice that we can't actually see any image here, and that's actually expected because to get the image to actually load up, you have to hit the little play button at the top of the preview here. And as soon as you do that, you'll start to see the image uh, pop in right here. Now, first of all, it's huge, which is not good. So let's take a look uh, at some of the other initializers and uh, what they bring to the table. So. If we start uh, creating this again with the open parenthesis, the one that I wanna focus on is URL, content, uh, and placeholder. So uh, URL is pretty simple. Now content and placeholder are interesting. So instead of specifying modifiers to the async image, you actually get this closure with this image as well as uh, this placeholder view builder where you can pass in a placeholder image as the name basically implies. So I'm gonna use photo as a placeholder. I'm gonna say it is resizable. And let's also go ahead and give it a foreground color of maybe color dot blue. Now we also want our image that gets downloaded from this URL to be resizable. So we're gonna go ahead and kick in all the modifiers in here. I'm also gonna go ahead and say aspect ratio. Uh, is going to be fit. You could actually just do scale to fit instead. So let's go ahead and do that and uh, let's start to look at what this is going to look like. So I'm gonna stop this live preview. So we should see that photo placeholder now, which in fact we do. Maybe I'll go ahead and change the color here. And let's also go ahead and make this a scale to fit here so it doesn't look so uh, weird. So this is basically the image that we are working with. So you can imagine any app where you you know have an image and you wanna load it in from online. You can have a placeholder, pretty nice that Apple baked this into SwiftUI 3. Go ahead and hit resume and there is our image, which is basically a iMac screenshot of this YouTube channel. So that is async image in a nutshell. So it's pretty commonly used in apps, you know, images from online that are fetched. Uh, presumably your URL would be a part of the model. So it's really nice that Apple finally brought this in. Honestly, I feel like it should have been here in SwiftUI 1, 
but you know, better late than never. So that's all I've got for you guys today. I'm going to be covering all the new Swift UI and Swift 5.5 uh, editions. Tons and tons of stuff to go through uh, this week and the coming week, so stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like down below. If you're new to SwiftUI, I've got a bunch of SwiftUI content here on this channel. Check it out. Subscribe to uh, stick around for iOS, Swift, and SwiftUI content. Keep, keep this channel going and growing together. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.